Are you ready to witness the incredible power of water and the devastating aftermath of dam failures? Look no further than our compilation of the top 10 massive dam failures caught on camera. From heart-stopping bursts to bone-chilling destruction, these videos will leave you in awe. Don't miss out on this unbelievable footage. Click now to see the incredible force of nature. Number 10. Edenville, Michigan Edenville, Michigan is a small settlement on the eastern banks of the Totova River. About a mile north of town, the Edenville Dam sits or sat, which obstructed the flow of the Tea and Tobacco Rivers to produce Wixom Lake. We say sad because the dam will break in May 2020. Heavy rains pummeling the Edenville Dam and surrounding area, causing the earthen embankments on the dam's eastern side to collapse catastrophically. Residents in Edenville and Sanford were forced to flee as water flowed downstream to the Sanford Dam, roughly 10 miles distant. One lucky householder was there to capture the moment the dam first burst. There he is. Oh, there we go again. There is a rush. We can see a small amount of water trickling through the earthen dam. Perhaps this was all our cameraman needed to realize the dam was about to fall. Finally, the pressure reaches a breaking point, causing the mud and grass to slip forward. All of the water has been released. An independent forensics team's 502-page study blamed the failure and damage on the original construction and decades of bad management. The dam could have been avoided if those in control had acted differently. Basically, the individuals who built the nearly 100-year-old dam back in the 1920s took a lot of shortcuts. Number 9. Bumedian, who is a municipality in southeastern Brazil with a population of somewhat more than 40,000 inhabitants, it is also the location of the Cocota Feijo Iron Mine and one of the greatest dam disasters in history. The Brumadingo Dam, however, was holding back poisonous mining waste known as tailings rather than water. On January 25, 2019, the Brumadingo Dam fell without warning, engulfing the Iron Man while the workforce were eating lunch. It stretched for miles through the forest before reaching a river's parapet. The stationary camera footage puts the disaster into context. And you're not looking at just any old mountainside. The entire structure is a tailings dam that is about to fail. The earthen wall collapses, causing a massive landslip that destroys everything in its path. Mud and debris cascade over the tree line before reaching the mine. The rubble wall can be seen pushing its way across the countryside as workers flee. Number 8. Uttarakhand Uttarakhand is a North Indian state known as Devgumi, which translates to Land of the Gods. The name is derived from the numerous Hindu temples that dot the landscape. It is also a Himalayan state, which means its people are at the mercy of the mountains. A glacial dam burst high in the mountains in February 2021, causing large amounts of water and debris to surge towards the power plant. Workers are listed below. Several viewpoints from that terrible day demonstrate how powerful the mountains truly are. Every mango guru guru by you can program throughout the last hour. I was never sure what to do with all of these. You just event a father on the ground would always get out of it. Do you work for a company or another? I got my book on bus companies putting audio audio to other bands. Number 7. The Auburn Coffer in Auburn. One of the projects suggested to reduce flooding on the American River is the Auburn Coffer near Auburn, California. The Auburn Dam concept was first born in 1950. Construction took 18 years to complete beginning with a $5.1 million diversion tunnel to divert the American River through the slope. Everything, however, came to a standstill in 1975. A 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck the Sierra Nevada region about 50 miles north of Auburn Dam. Engineers and geologists were terrified that a comparable earthquake would destroy their cherished dam. So they put the project on hold until they could work anything out. Workers had built a foundation and an earthen cofferdom out of clay, sand, and soil by 1979. Number 6. Ica Ica is a city in Hungary with a population of over 35,000 people. It is located in the highlands of the balcony and was the location of a devastating tailings dam failure in October of 2010. The dam kept a sea of bauxite waste, often known as red mud, at bay. A byproduct of the bauxite to aluminum oxide conversion process, on Monday, October 4, 2010, the dam's northwestern corner collapsed, sending around 1 million cubic meters of red muck onto adjacent cities and villages. According to some experts, red mud is a deadly chemical soup that can be radioactive. The dam failure's aftermath footage should tell you everything you need to know. Number 5. Lushan Lushan is a prefecture-level city in the Chinese province of Sichuan. 
along the Dudu and Min rivers. The city has a population of almost 3 million people, placing it between Chicago and Los Angeles. The Big Buddha statue, which was carved into the mountain in the 7th century and represents a gigantic sitting Buddha, is also located in Lushan. However, those central Chinese highlands are prone to landslides with heavy rain. This rain also causes floods, which has gotten worse in recent years. In July of this year, as a large landslip came down the mountain and burst through the dam below, 19 road workers fled for their lives. People here understand that while the dam can hold back a lot of water, all those trees and boulders will eventually break through. Number 4. Cyclone Boon Cyclone Boon is a new province in Laos that was founded in December 2013. Prior to 2013, the area was a hub of strife as the military sought to exploit the indigenous Hmong people for their resources. The government and the indigenous peoples have not gotten along since their incorporation. On September 11, 2017, the Namur Dam breached following days of severe rain. The deluge flooded farming areas, killing entire crops that had just been planted. Onlookers from a cliff above watched the intensity of the river that day. We might presume the dam burst just moments before muddy water rushed down the river and flooded the construction site. A jip attempts to reverse away from the danger as two other drivers sound their horns. Number 3. Iron Ore Mining Complex On November 5, 2015, four years before the Bumidi and Dam accident in Brazil, the same corporation was responsible for another disastrous failure at a different tailings dam in Oriana, Brazil. The iron ore mining complex's dam burst, spilling 43.7 million cubic meters of hazardous tailings. The muck contaminated the Dossi River and spread 425 miles over multiple streams. The muck made it all the way to the Atlantic Ocean 17 days after the fall. By then, the damage had been done, leaving poison water sources, cities, and villages all along the Dozi River. We are in the midst of a humanitarian crisis. The downstream villages of Benta Rodrigues and Barakat to Dubai Shu suffered the most damage, with 19 persons killed in the flood. Unfortunately, Bento can only be reached by dirt back roads. Firefighters were unable to enter the town to rescue anyone after becoming engulfed in muck and sludge. Samarco so was the firm that owned the dam. Meanwhile, Vale and Beach P. Billiton, an Australian mining firm, jointly owned Samarco. Number 2. Serdario Serdario is one of Uzbekistan's 12 regions. It is located on the left bank of the Serdoria River and has a population of about 860,000 people. The Sir River travels 1,400 kilometers from the Kyrgyzstan Mountains to the Aral Sea. The S.A. Duba Reservoir Dam stores 922 million cubic meters of water inside the reservoir and uses it to irrigate the neighboring farmlands. Cotton fields too. However, when the dam burst on May 1, 2020, all of that water gushed into the fields, inflicting massive devastation. All the way to the northern Kazakhstan border, the camera zooms in on the location where the Asadabed Dam failed, showing water gushing out and devastating the farmlands. Number 1. Schonsbury Schonsbury, sometimes known as State J by the locals, is a little village in northern Vermont on the banks of the Sik River. National Geographic awarded it Best Small Town in 2006 for its hiking trails and can-do Yankee mentality. Thomas Nowicki was out for a morning stroll when he noticed the river was higher than normal. When a roaring river arose out of nowhere, he decided to photograph the water. Tom kept the video going despite the risk of wet shoes on a cold street cheat day. It's a flood, to be sure. An ice dam has recently broken. I just happened to start filming it at the correct time. So holy smokes, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. With that, thank you all for watching and be sure to tune in next time.